Miz Tina. <laughs> yes, people, this is a new phone. I am totally sponsored by Samsung. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, but this is my new phone. Isn't it pretty? It's purple and more girly than I'll ever be, but it's beautiful. Anyway, on to the main presentation as I throw this out of the screen. Oops. Ow. Kind of hurt. Hello. You also have a guest uh, guest presenter. Yeah, I didn't Ish. even get to say hello yet. Okay. I can get that part out. No, no, it's fine. I like this. Hello, everyone. Hello. It is I, Mizu. And the mousey. Yeah. Because today, yesterday, both of us are fully vaccinated. Yay. Woo. So... That means we can totally leave the lockdown and do whatever the hell we want, right? Nah. Nah. The law says we're not allowed, so I'm going to obey the law because I don't have that much money floating around. Unlike but, Europe, how they have the vaccination pass thingy, Australia doesn't have that just yet. No, but at least we can be proud of the fact that we're all vaxxed up now and COVID won't be as mean to us. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> So, yeah, for the next four weeks, I'm going to be on my lonesome. Oh, terrible. Yeah, because New South Wales is getting into a four-week lockdown, even stronger than it was before. Hooray for protesters. Good job, guys. There's your freedom. We've got longer lockdowns. We have the freedom to stay at home. Yay. Yay. Also, it's Mousy's birthday next week, so that's fun. I can be sell on that too. Thank Happy you. Happy birthday to me. Oh. But thank you, protesters, for taking that from me. Bastards. Anyway, we should talk about the fun. Oops, oops. My piles. Okay, my piles hate me. The fun monthly haul. So let's start off with Sadako Chan and Sadako San. I mean, Sadako San and Sadako Chan. I like this. It would have been better if it was longer. It is so tiny. Uh, yeah, it's very cute. I'm going to write a review for this, I think. But. It, it feels like a series that would have done a lot better if it was a lot longer than it was. It's actually really... It's like segments that would have been better if it was actually a longer story. But it's cute. It's still worth checking out, especially if you want a more humorous view of Sadako from the ring. And it's similar to um, Sadako and the End of the World, which is a Yen Press title, which is similar. But it's a bit more serious, but it would have worked better too if that was longer as well. Um, I don't know why, but I think I glanced at a Yen Press title and I, no, not Yen Press. I glanced at them and I thought about something. Oh, oh I'm going to mention it. It's <laughs> funny. The next one is, of course, if you're a huge Ruby fan, you know all about the Sorority, but it is the fifth volume of the anthology, which is Shine which is focused on Juniper. I would have liked it if they did, like, Juniper like they did with Ruby, where they had, like, Jean and Nora, Pyra and Ren done, like, Ruby, Weiss and Yang and Blake was. No, no. You get them all five in one, which is kind of sad, because I would have loved them individual. But I hope they also do the other teams as well, because I look forward to reading that. Definitely a good Viz title. Definitely worth checking out. Viz has other titles from the Ruby collection, so... Apparently it's supposed to be Ruby computer games coming out. Something like Android and Switch and stuff coming out soon. Or the end yeah. of the year or something. Yeah, yeah, you told me <coughs> about that, yeah. And I was hoping that it's better than what they have already released, which was not that great. Especially if you don't have many friends with the game as well. And if you're like me, you don't really play with anyone else but your friends. So <laughs> it's kind of hard when... Nobody's really playing it, and you suck. You don't want people yelling at you because you suck. I've had enough of that. That's why I don't play online. Next one. Um, another Viz title is, of course, Hell's Paradise Volume 9. It is getting really interesting. It is also very close to the end. I think um, it goes to 13 or 14. Somewhere there, but it's definitely like less than five volumes away. Well, if I wasn't using my phone to record, then I'd actually look it up. <laughs> well, I can do that. Where, where did I chuck my pretty phone? She lost her phone already. Yeah, this this is a regular recurrence for me. I lose my phone on a regular. And this is a brand new one, and it doesn't have a case. So I'm even more paranoid if I lose it. It might be broken. Yeah, no, she I just... think it has a screen case on it. It has a protector on it, though. She's quickly looking up the, uh, the details of Hell's Paradise to see how many volumes it is. Thirteen. There you go, thirteen. So I've got four more. Yeah. 
Um, don't worry, the next one, which I just got today, which surprisingly, mail does not frequently come on a Saturday in Australia. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You, you're more likely to get packages than actual mail itself. But, well, well, Shmizu does, not me. Yeah. Mine's just Monday to Friday. Yeah, for the last two weeks we got mail on Saturday, which made me go, ooh, because it means more books for me. Um, we've got In the Great Priest Timotep, Volume 10, One More to Go. I haven't read it yet, so I can't tell you anything about it. Other than, I've got to read this. Oh, yeah. But, of course, we know Yen Press. They keep releasing, releasing amazing stuff, so I'm never going to be out of Yen Press titles. Just like... Kakagure Twin Volume 10. Oh my god, this is getting so good. Oh, where it stopped there, it had me screeching because it's because uh, basically the amp ante they raised the ante right up there. It's like right up there. Oh, it's so good. If you like gambling and that, definitely check this out. They also have really pretty girls and lots of gambling and pretty gambling girls. Is this the one that's got the TV series live action? Yes, and also has the anime on Netflix, which I'm half ass watching because I can't sit there and watch subtitles for long because I get bored. I'm like a two-year-old. It's got to enthrall me or not. <laughs> Next is Volume 7 of Sweat and Soap, which I got yesterday and have not read yet either. This is also another series I really enjoy. I'm so glad when Kandansha actually prints titles because I support them. <laughs> It's amazing, isn't it? How about all the people who are upset about Tokyo Revengers not getting a print? I can understand some of my friends being upset because they've been wanting prints for years. But the funny part is, like I've told you recently, that the Crusaders that gave me shit years ago, and all my friends shit years ago for asking for prints, are now doing the same thing. They're yeah. demanding that the company gives them prints or they're not going to support them. It is a bit hypocritical saying that now everyone should go digital and down with prints and then all of a sudden turning around and say we want prints. Yeah, so we want Tokyo Revengers. If you don't give it to us, we're not going to buy from you anymore. You clear on that. And it's like, wow. I said something like, I don't buy digital, but I will support you if you buy print. And I was told I was cancelling the company. And somebody else goes, why can't we just have more shoujo? And we were also told, oh, they don't sell. Or they were called the lovely C word. It rhymes with punt. But yeah, it's uh, if you're going to, to go on years and years saying that everyone should go digital and all of a sudden turn around and say, no, we want uh, physicals, then you are a bit of hypocrites. So. And in my opinion, you're an asshole. Because I just, I've been from the as soon as I came out in the community from the gates I've always been I'm all physical no digital because I've told people so many goddamn times that I get migraines constantly if I look at technology too long and then I can't look at anything for days and I binge read I binge read so if I'm reading digital for too long periods of time I'm not going to be able to touch technology for the next three days because of the severe migraines that come from it. Yes, I also have reading glasses. They do not help. <laughs> we tested this. If anything, it just makes it a little less worse. Just barely. But that's why I've never liked digital. And also, it's a waste of money to me. Mm. Because I'm not physically <clears throat> holding beautiful things like this. I have to look at it on a phone. And it loses its appeal to me. It loses the feeling it gives me as I, like open and look at it wait was that that's also when digital if uh, if you're actually having the files stored on on the cloud then they can actually be taken away from you oh yeah shit look her tits are on top of that bloody panel um yeah they can yeah, take it away from you they can so. take it away from you amazon does it often have you seen how many times amazon has done so often that's the other and also there was another thing about digital i don't like no, I can't remember now. It was something interesting. Well, it's also being able to lend it to someone. Yeah. And also, a lot of companies are now pointing out that they get more from prints than they actually do from digital. And it's like, I've been spending years saying this, and now the companies are actually sa now outright saying it, and people are like, oh, okay. Yeah, now I would like you to take all your threats back and all the sh humiliating, horrible things I was called because... I just proved you all fucking right, didn't I? Ha <laughs> ha, I'm an asshole. Woo! Anyway, Bakamonogatari 9. I am stopping here for the time being on collecting this. 
A, because it's mine, and B, because it's one of my... Because I've got so many series, as you can see. That's just the beginning. There's a few more over here. I have so many series going on that I'm trying to now just finish the ones I have and just deal with the ongoing. And that's not a high priority. Like, Dead Mount Death Play is getting lower on the list, but it's nowhere near that level. And then series like Sweat and Soap, only because it's finished, near finished. But let's just say, like, Kaiju Girl, or Golden Japanesque, or Love and Heart. I'll keep collecting those because I actually enjoy them. Well, Love and Heart just got back on the list because why not? Anyway, I keep rambling. I'm so sorry because who knows when the next video will be and when I'll ramble again. The next one, um, my partner got me because I said I wouldn't mind getting it if it was just like one whole bundle. And we got a one whole bundle. Um, from Gumtree, wasn't it? Yes, it was from Gumtree. And it was for a good price for what it was worth. So for international people, Gumtree is basically eBay for... Australia. Australia, yeah. Like, Australia's own eBay. So we got Jiju. It's five volumes long. Um, it's... It's, see, say five volume. Um, the polite thing to say about this series as a whole, besides Hello Aggie, is that the ending sucks ass. It is a terrible fucking ending. I would not recommend the series purely because the ending. The story itself is a bit mm, middle ground. It's okay. The art's okay, but the story, but the ending, uh, the ending is so bad. And there's volume four. Look at the beautifulness of it. Aggie, I can feel you on my back. And then we got three. Look at that. That is cool. It's it's interesting. But mm, mm, two. And of course. I like two. The cover. Yeah, the cover's really nice. And then one. As I will say, I like like now said, volume two has the best cover. And now we go on to Jesus no. Just her piles have fallen over the store. Don't worry okay. about that. Let's just ignore the piles in the background. Next one well, is... Well, I'm worried the piles aren't in the background. Yeah, oh, good. Well, <laughs> next one is another Shoujo Beat. Yeah, I've come to a conclusion about Shoujo Beat, but there you go. Queen's Quality 12. When this gets to its end, I'll be so fucking happy. Uh, for reasons you... I might share. Should I share my reasons why? Yeah. I don't like Shoujo Beat as a company. Do not like them at all. But I can't disagree, like, what they publish. But here you go. Love Me, Love Me Not. Another series nearing its end. I think this is 11 volumes as well. Yeah, the mangas themselves are good, but the company, yeah. people at the company are not that no, great. No, no. That's why I'm just like, here you go. Here's my long year wait of Idle Dream 7. Got another year long wait for 8. <laughs> because of how it ended. It's so good. The art, you can tell, has changed within a year. It's gotten more gorgeous. Oh, this was like really a tense volume. Not as bad as 6 was, but damn. Damn. It's getting good. But yeah, um, I've come to the conclusion with Shadow Beat that um, if I have no reason, if there's like no good series I really want coming from them, I'm not going to bother with them. And I'll just keep finishing the overly long ones like um, Snow White, Skip Beat, and Yona. Because they're the only series I really like from them. Other than that, they're really not worth the time of day anymore. Anyway, oh, another series that's like one volume from ending and oh, glittery and yeah. everything. This is one reason why I love getting platinum because oh my god, that is gorgeous. That's why all of them are like that, aren't they? All of them are like that. That's why I bought it in the first place. Outside of the fact that it was done by the creators of Death Note, which I also love, 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 love. So, volume thirteen, one more to go. Oh my god, this read, reading this was like reading Mission Earth for me. It's heavy. There's a lot going on. And if your brain's not in the right space to read it, it is not in the right place to read it. You, you want to go show Mission Earth? Go ahead. That's right. You I'll... can. Go. Okay. This is... Volume, volume, volume or book one. Nice yeah. and thick. Yeah. That's why I'm taking a and while. She, and she's only that far in. Come on. For <laughs> a heavy book where they're trying to give you a lot of information straight off the bat... 
It does not ease you into the book. Let's just... That's what it feels like to me. It does not ease you. It's just like, here you go, information dump. Oh, yeah. It's definitely at the beginning of that book is very heavy, but it does lighten up it as you get into it. Yeah. But it's just getting over that big hump at the yeah, beginning. Yeah, so that's why I'm taking my time reading it, because I don't want to rush through it and then regret it, because I'll probably miss so much if I rush. So I think I usually take it a bit at a time. Like, I'm currently with another novel, so I'm switching between the two. It's fun. You will see the second novel, because... It is also something I got this month. Next, we have Moriarty the Patriot, Volume 4. Good series, especially if you really like the Sherlock Holmes thing. I think you said that was, um, what's his nuts? The... Sherlock's rival. No, 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 I mean on the cover. Oh, this that's, is Watson. Uh, Watson. Yes, yeah, that's it. that is Watson. Watson. Elementary, mind you, Watson. I love it when my partner remembers things like that. It's just like, oh my god, yay, you pay attention to my <laughs> horrible hobbies. <laughs> yay. I am indeed spoilt. Just like I was with Dear Grey Man Volume 27. Look, we're getting really high up in the numbers with this. I think and you started late on that too. Yeah, but somebody was selling 1 to 21 for like a reasonable price yeah. and I just got the rest. And now that I can read it like this, like one at a time, up to date, pre-order wise, it's great. Just like I did with Blue Exorcist and Black Butler. People were trying to get rid of their sets. I'm like, oh, let me take your children home. And that's how I got half my mangas. <laughs> me going, I feel sorry for you. Come with me. And here we are. Nearly 3,000 mangas later. Do I regret it? No. Yes. Yes, yes and no. Yeah, no, because I love it and it's my favourite hobby. Yes, because... They take up so much goddamn space, man. <laughs> but the joy it brings me when I read them. Oh, phenomenal. Just like Volume 9 of Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. Because it's been a while since I read 8, I have no idea what the hell was going on, so I just read it anyway. <laughs> and then I got like up to Chapter 2 in it, and then it dawned on me like, Oh, right, this is what it's about. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the colours. I love, I love the colours. I love the covers because of the colours. And then... Things like that. I just love it. Colour insert. That's nice. Yeah, I love colour insert. This is why I have to admit, after many years of collecting, I have now discovered I do indeed have a favourite company. I know it's really shocking that I, who tries to not, you know, do favouritism outside of condenser not printing, so therefore they're already at the bottom of the rung, closely followed by Shoujo Beat being complete utter asses to their fans. Um... Yen Press would probably be way up at the top because they released the most interesting prints. And they were the company themselves that had, had admitted that their digitals do okay, but not as much as their physicals do. Because they realise people buy them, especially when they go to the shops and they don't read manga normally, or they don't follow the companies, they just go, oh, I want to read ReZero. Oh my god, there's 11 of them? I better get 10 nine and fuck you because i ordered eight and they cancelled the order on me so i'm missing eight still but there we go i have finished re-zero at least chapter three and um in uh, as you can tell these are all from kino damn look at those prices um just take 10 percent off all that and that's how much i pay good member price yes being a member pays off um I have currently three open orders with them at the moment. I think one is being sent now, which has um, White Cat's Revenge from the Dragon King's Lap. I think that was one and two. Um, chapter four of ReZero, um, volume one. And that means I'm up to date. Yeah. Which I've been spending so long trying to do, except I'm not quite up to date until I get volume 8 of this. But until. It's close enough. It's close enough. But until the prints start printing again, I'm stuck with missing volume 8 for that and missing volume 5 from Aoharu X Machine Gun. I'm not upset with it that I didn't start earlier. I'm just upset with the fact that trying to find any of those two volumes at a decent price, like. Reasonable would be asking too much. Just do a decent one where it's not like where if buying an omnibus is cheaper. It says a lot when you can get an omnibus cheaper than a single manga. Mm. Mm, it's phenomenal. <laughs> and then of course you get Dead Mount Death Play, which I have to admit, for a single volume it's quite fat. 
It is fatter than normal. Yeah. I've noticed that with only dead ma- dead play, though. Dead now. Definitely. That was also a heavy read as well. It took me a while to finish that one. But I enjoyed where it was going. It's at a low point again. And don't worry. Case Study of Anitas is not that far off from fatness either. But there you go. Number eight. We're finally up to date now. It's been a while since like any volumes of these came out. And then, of course, the anime makes it even more popular. And I've been hearing people... I follow getting really upset because they can't get the volumes. That's another problem with the anime manga community at the moment. People mass buy mangas. Or they buy multiples of that manga and then shill the rest out for like ludicrous. Well, especially prices. people who are just starting out who want to say, oh, look how popular I am or how, you know, how much of a fan I am. They just mass buy. It's like, really? You don't need to mass buy. You can still buy a little bit at a time. Yeah, you don't need to be an expert straight off the bat. You can just be an expert, you know, two months in. It's okay to be new. Then again, I've been at this since 2003 and I like to pretend I'm new. Because half the time I'm like, I don't know that series. I don't know anything. (laughs) Just like Lovesick Ellie, Volume 7 from Tokyo Pop. In German. In German. As you can tell. Mit extra? No, in... I don't want to butcher that further. I'm terrible. And I'll show you the extra. Absolutely gorgeous. This is what the English princes, print, uh, print companies need to do occasionally. Just bring out these, put little bookmarks in there. Fucking, you'd sell us so many. You would sell so many. <laughs> because people would just outright buy them for the extras in most cases. I just got that because I'm like, we're never going to get an English version and then I was proven wrong. Half you've come so far through the yeah, series. Yeah, I think I've got like volume 5, 6 about there and then um, Condensure's like, since you guys have been demanding, I've been asking for this, we finally printed it. And I'm like, you mean we've been asking for like 6 years, but yes, yes, thank you. I <laughs> think the first one's supposed to come out in another couple of months, isn't it? Yes, and I think we're going to pre-order that or we yeah. have Yeah, well, we're going to. Yeah, we're going to pre-order it because... It's not close enough to When it bubbles up to the top of our list. Yeah, because we've got other series to go through, like, for example, More Hills Paradise, Great Priest. I know Great Priest is coming out. Um, Happy Sugar Life 10 is coming out. That's the final volume for that, too. Uh, Sensor by Juji Ito. I think that's supposed to be coming out, or it is coming out. I think we've already pre-ordered that one. So it's coming. Yeah, coming out, yeah. Yeah, um... Oh yeah, Promised Neverland's ending soon. We're going to find that out next month because that just got sent, I think, type thing. Or yep. it's going to be sent. Either, either, or. Now we're going on to the English Tokyo Pop. And I've started picking up series from them, actually. I picked up more than I expected to because they like to focus on the LGBT stuff, which I hit miss. And with. Disney. And Disney. Back to the Tokyo Pop titles because we talk too much. Oh, I didn't show off the Resident Evil. Oh, we have to do this. I just remembered, we also got this, and I'm like, this is a good intermission. Resident Evil, because yay! Wholesome, dumb movies that I like to watch to entertain myself. And also, the shop had a 30% off sale. Yeah, so. got to take advantage of that. Anyway, back to the wholesome manga world of idols. We have Osan Idol. Basically, you got three middle-aged men becoming idols and i think honestly this is my favorite series because it is so wholesome and pure and innocent it's sweet there's like a lot going on that's like oh no bad things type thing but it's just so cute i mean (laughs) i love i love naroki he's my favorite character out of this and i hope he hooks up with Kirmi so so much there is four volumes out currently he's volume three Come on, look at those cute little wall signs. 10 out of 10 would hook up with any of them. They're hot and they're sweet and they're really interesting characters. They're fun to read. Here's number two. Look how green it is. Oh my god. Like, ah, it's so good. I love this series so much. I got number one because it was $9. Or 13. It was really cheap. So that's number one. That's what got me started. So I read it and I was like, oh, it's not going to be too bad. Read it, fell in love, and then it's like, next thing you know, I'm like, love, order me volume four. I get two and three and we're up to date. And he's like, okay, I guess you really like that. And I'm like, yep, yep. 
yep do not regret anything such a good series worth checking out especially if you like idols and you want a series that are based around older people not around your typical teens like a majority of mangas are this one is actually based around adults and it is awesome i think out of like all these i think that one might be based around older people that one sort of is that one sort of is but not quite uh and that one that one's adults the rest evolve like young people oh yeah idol dreams involves young and old so there's a flip between that oh and moriarty there we go i mean to Grayman, you've got young characters in it but whatever ah for the lovers of isekai and all that jazz we have her royal highness seems to be angry this just came out i think this month or last month let's see i pre-ordered it so it comes in whenever it bloody well wants uh it came out in may last month this month we're in july so two months oh ago. jesus yeah it took a while to get in let's just say that but i read it loved it it's such an entertaining series really really worth checking out i think that it seems to be a light novel for that too and i kind of hope that any company picks it up just anyone because i'm really enjoying the whole manga light novel do i because now i can compare them because of one series which you'll see in a little bit after we do the j novel seven c series of course we got a j novel of the essence of a bookworm i'll do anything to become a librarian part one Part, uh, part one, volume six, so volume 1.6. I think this and, is part one is coming to an end, I think. Yes, the next volume. And, of course, in its little tiny ooh-ness, I'm still not happy about that, but it is quite a bit, it is actually quite a heavy book in the literal sense of it's whatever's in the pages is heavy. But next one is a new title from Seven Seas, Mars Red. It is a three volume long series about vampires and being in the Taisho era. I think it's really good. It's kind of, this one part kind of made me really, really sad. And now I kind of want to see the rest, but I have a feeling it's going to be kind of rushed because it's only three volumes and there's a lot going on. But by the feels of it, I was already looking at like one little aspect of it. And it'd be nice if there's like Mars Red, Jupiter Green. Mercury blue. <laughs> nah, if that actually happens, I'll laugh my ass off. But if that doesn't happen, oh well, there's an idea. If someone can steal it, I don't care. But feel free to credit me if you do. <laughs> Another series coming to an end, also from Seven Seeks, is Cutie and the Beast. Your typical loving age gaps. Yay! I actually really like this series. It's really sweet. And I can't wait for the next volume because I want to see how it ends. And last but not least, from the Seven Seas. Seven Seas? Yes. Why did I think it yeah, was called? Seven Seas. Why did I think it was called something else? I just bit my tongue. Is a series that's ending in two volumes, which is Gal Gohan. I still remember the tales of trying to find volumes six and seven because. No one stores. wanted to sell, now sell to Australia. Nobody wanted to sell Australia, and I'd struggled so hard to get them, but I got them. And we also ordered nine and ten. To prevent any basically fu moments happening yeah strange how all the other volumes were allowed in but just those two volumes so yeah no 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 they're not coming in at all now that's just the manga section there's two light novels coming up this is one of the series that made me realize that yes i should have started doing the whole light novel manga volumes together thing because it is the accomplishments of the Duke Daughters light novel volume one from Airship, which is a Seven Seas, you know, light novel distributor. And then we put it on top of everyone else, and holy shit, look at that. So um, even bigger than the ones down, down the bottom. It's yeah. even bigger than the ones down there. So I got that volume. Oh, it's just as big. Nope, slightly bigger. Yeah, slightly. Yeah. So I finally got that, read it, and felt absolutely love with it. Because it felt like it gave more to the manga. And I think the manga was... the One of the novels is like two volumes for the manga. So now I'm trying to get like... Saints Magic Power is Omnipotent Light Novel. I swear I won't bother you again. 
there was another one but i can't remember its name <laughs> And I might continue with my next life as a villainess and Ascendance of a Bookworm. They're the ones I want to start and finish first. Or finish first in most cases. I think I'm also considering um, the White Cat's Revenge light novel. Because that one's coming out. And Tear Moon Empire. Because those two are coming out. As well as, I think, The Villainess is a Heretic. Ugh. This is why this is why you have a spreadsheet, people. Um, future. Uh, there you go. The most heretic, her 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 heretical last boss queen. It has a light manga and a light novel and a manga. So I thought I'll get both. The other one. Oh, the other one is shit. Where is it? I don't think I have this. I don't have the light novel of this written down, but I think I have the manga written down. Oh yeah, it's in. It's because it's three volumes. It's in the friggin' last this section. I'm the villainess's daughter, so I'm keeping the lost bust. I'm getting both the light manga and then light manga, light novel and the manga of that because the manga is three volumes long, while the light novel ha is I think complete at like X amount of volumes, well chapters, but it's ongoing in volumes. And I'm like, I'm not gonna stop at three volumes of manga. I want the light novel because I want if this manga is good, I want to keep reading. Just like Fiance of the Wizard, but that does not have a light novel out at the moment. Even though it's ongoing in light novel, I think. But at least I know that finishes at eight volumes. Unlike this title from Cross Infinite World, the weakest manga villainess wants her freedom. Uh, I'm about there. It is really good. I love it, but com the feeling of the book is very different to every of the main everything else I own. Hmm. It's got a different texture. Yeah, the books are nice and smooth, but this one's got sort of a slightly rough. Yeah. And then you have, you know, typical picture stuff in it, like that. You got the, you got the bosses, and then you got the heroes, and that, yeah, as you can see, that's where I'm up to so far. But look at all that. It is a single volume. So once you buy it. You got it all. It's also from a smaller company, so they mostly print to Amazon, but they've been sliding a few into Book Depository, and that's where I've been able to pick them up because Amazon shipping for like even just like one book is about the same price. And if you add other books on, sure, it gets a bit cheaper, but not by much. And yeah, if you're spending say twenty dollars on a book, then it's twenty dollars for shipping. And it's yeah. like, well, what? What's the point? A lot of people are going to be like, well, it's not like that for us. And I'm like, yes, because you're probably not in Australia. <laughs> yes, that's the only cons about Australia. It's just getting anything here that's outside of, like, a few UK stores is you're looking at very, very expensive shipping. And that's why I stick to basically stores like Book Depository, Blackwells, and if Kino can get it in, of course I abuse the poor shit out of Kino, Currently, they've got three orders open for me, like I said earlier. And I think there's... I think that one had five, six, uh, three, three. It's all about 12 books in three orders. Because the first order was like, oh, I'm trying to finish this set. But I want to start this one. And I got my tax back, so why not? <laughs> the second one was, I'm trying to finish this lot. And the third one was... Dear God, I want Nana the Caro Volume 4, therefore, we're going to add those two so I can get free shipping. <laughs> Surprisingly, Nana the Caro is not checking store for stock, which I expected. <laughs> it was um, America Charm 3. But yeah, there we go. That is this month. It's the month of July. Yep. <laughs> I'll tell you one funny story that happened. I went to the bathroom and the mailman was at the door and my room and housemates like so she goes to answer it and the guy is still scanning books and the first thing he asks her is who's the bookaholic in the house and she laughs and goes oh it's my housemate and then you hear from me out of the bathroom because I was coming out going I'm so sorry <laughs> because the pile was like nine or ten of these books and I, was just, I felt so bad because he has to deal with this all the time with me and he's just like, who's the bookworm in this house? And it's like, I am. 
And then I go to uh, to my roommate afterwards, okay? Well, technically, bookaholic's correct, but the term is also bibliophile. <laughs> and she's like, he doesn't seem the type that would know that word. And I'm like, that is true. But I felt so bad because it's like, I, I wish BD and that would put them all together, but they don't. But yeah, that's all for today. Yeah. And this month. And this month. Well, we'll see you next month. If hopefully I might do some videos, but with how the lockdown's making people me feel and that, I'm just not motivated to do any videos at the moment. Though I think starting in October, I'll be doing a second book, a second video. So see how that turns out. Yeah. Until then, collect and read all the things. <laughs> Yay. Yay.